It's a beautiful day here and we've got the final round of the 2022 Augusta Classic presented by the Augusta Disc Golf Association. Comes down to this here in Augusta, Georgia. Ace Run Productions bringing you this coverage. I am Felix. And I'm Conrad. Conrad, we're back here on the same track, Lake O. We saw lots of swings during round two. What can we expect here in round three? Round three, we expect to see a show. Said that these holes were not birdie or die, but they may be if anyone is trying to catch Martin Neese. Braiding his five strokes back from him, and Jason and Hunter are on the card trying to make a push as well. We have a couple of other players named Ezra on the chase making a push. Hole one is a part three, 310 feet. This is a birdie or die hole. One of the first ones on the course. You either want to play with a backhand to get around this tree or a forehand to get around this tree. Hopefully missing the sign that says 12, 16 p.m. And then making a birdie putt. Again, most of the course is not a birdie or die hole, but this hole definitely is. Announcing the lead card for our MPO division for the Augusta Classic 2022. Our leader at 26 under, Martin Neese. Martin with a scorching 13 down round two. We saw the forehand play from him during round two, going back to it. Checks up a little bit shorter this time, and he's got maybe a 20 foot putt Next up, to start his day. In second place, with a total of 21 under par, Braden Sides. Saw Braden go forehand during the second round. Looks like he's lining up that same shot. Let's see if he misses the limb this time. He does get underneath and pushes toward the basket. We've seen him make that putt plenty of times during the second round. Next up with a total of 18 under in third place, Jason Lynn. Newcomer to the card here, Jason Lynn playing his way onto the final lead card. Lining up the forehand as well. Oh, he takes that out wide. I don't know if it has enough angle to get back over or not. It's going to stay out there near hole two's tee pad. So I guess we'll see Rounding how Jason puts. In fourth place, with a total of 16 under par, Hunter Backman. First time seeing Hunter as well, has pretty unique form. I think somebody had told me he hadn't been playing that long, but he's got a lot of power. We're gonna see it on display here. I think he's on a putter here. Mm. Getting it to wow, flip, flip up. up. Ride. Yeah. Great shot there. Very slow approach and then just pop. Yes. Very controlled. I, Jason here, I, he reminds me of uh, Dana Vici. He looks almost exactly like him or uh, Joshua Childs. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was initially thinking. Yeah. Missing the putt there to start the day, unfortunately. And uh, of course, Martin Nice. Just, right back at just, it. Just throwing it in. Just looking at the basket and just throwing it at it. Braden mm -hmm. looking to match here. Putting with the Luna. Yep. Good start for these guys there. They're going to be basically almost playing match play at this point. But Braden's going to have to push the envelope a bit. That strong putt. I don't know if that's match play or if it's like... Uh, Hide and seek. Nope. Uh, there's another game. Keep away. He's trying to keep away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all he's got to do is just Tag. match or beat whatever Braden does on every hole. But Braden's so basically, try to push. Martin is it, and yeah. everyone is yeah. trying to, to tag him. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> hole two, a par four, at 400 feet. This is one that can and was eagled during round two by Martin Nice. You do have out-of-bound roadway on the right-hand side and this roadway that divides 
the two sections of this actual hole there, 150 feet from that second light post. These guys may try to push to get onto this island portion of the green here, but there's out of bounds left behind and to the right of the basket as well. An easy three, but if you really want to push here, you got to try to get that eagle. Puts another good move on this one. He's a little further out than he was the first time. Yeah, that's a longer look with that ceiling there. That tree's going to be... Uh, in his way a bit. Mm -hmm. See if Brady makes the correction from round two. He's got to get around that gate. Gets uh -oh. the gets the stop from the wall and a friendly roll forward. He's mm -hmm. going to have a look there for the eagle. Hunter is with it, another is slow that a, is that a pusk? I think so. Wow. He just blasted past. It's like he's sneaking up on his throw. He's yeah. It's just very quiet and deliberate. That's a nice flexy forehand. Ooh, Should miss all zip. the trees. And no, the last one knocks oh. it down. He still made it safely across, though, yeah. but I would have liked to have seen that finish. I really thought he was past it. So all four players uh, have gone past the short end here and basically are on this island. Giving a bid, didn't stay up. Had the line, but didn't stay up. Martin here, looking for another eagle. Ooh, he gave it. Sit down, Ooh. stays in bounds. Definitely gave a run for it. Mm -hmm. Have to imagine that Braden is going to do the same. Yeah, you've got to be running after everything here in this final round, mm -hmm. Braden. Oh, wow. Gets it to go for the eagle. Beautifully done there for Braden. Let's watch that one once again on the run back. That soft hyzer putty has drifts right into the center of the chains. Nicely done there for Braden. All smiles walking away. Mm -hmm. Birdie there for Martin. Now want to lose too much ground. Braden with the only eagle on the day during round three. So next year, everyone knows if you want to get an eagle, you have to be on our card. If, Obviously. If the not, two you we know. saw for round two and three were both from our card. Mm -hmm. And Jason and Hunter with a drop. Hunter, yep. Braden closing the gap a little bit. It's now a four-stroke difference between he and Martin Nice. Become an Ace Runner. Check us out at patreon.com slash acerunpro. You get exclusive and early access to content, podcasts, monthly and quarterly giveaways, all starting at just $3 a month. Become an Ace Runner at patreon.com slash acerunpro. Hole 3 is a part 3 coming in at 374 feet. You are throwing from an elevated tee pad throwing down towards the green. <clears throat> you really have to be mindful of these guardian trees and the low hanging fruit that is their branches that will definitely stop your shot if you come in too low, I mean too high. The green does slope away, so you have to be mindful of that as you put as well. Yeah, it's a tricky shot there. The ceiling, the angle, the gaps. This is fading off a little earlier than he would have liked, and that fade of that grade continues to kind of drag your disc further away from the pin. Well, luckily, he got through everything, so he'll have a clear look at the basket. It's just a further away than he wanted. Now, this is picture perfect. Wow. Martin Nice putting it inside of 10 feet there. We'll get another look at that on the run back here. As he pures, this line gets a little bit of an airlift there. Gets that right hand gap perfectly with a little bit of skip. And just filters right to the bullseye. I see Hunter here. It's 
We drifting a little left on him. Let's so you want to get out as well, though? He gets blocked up by the trees. This one early left as well. I hear the wind. I'm not sure if that was playing with the disc or just playing with their shot selection. Looks like everybody kind of stabled up there, besides Martin that just went with that mid-range again. Long look here for Braden to step through. Oh, wow. Cashes it in. Knowing that Martin is parked there, let's get another look on the run back here. Uphill putt again, just that soft hyzer right to the center of the chains once again, Braden. Just a couple holes in, but I like what I'm seeing so far. Oh, yeah, he's definitely trying to tag him. Four down through three. Wow. Yeah. Hunter getting around that tree. Mm -hmm. Nice play there. Nice little scramble. Long look for Jason here. Uphill putt as well. Oh, just short. Touching the basket and the chains, but not staying in. Yeah, just a little left side. Didn't quite have enough to hang on. You can hear the wind and see the flag on the ground just blowing. So you know that today is a different than it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday is probably the calmest day we've ever seen on this course. You can hear the wind rustling, but it's still not nearly what we're used to from this course. Another bag on putt there. And the CTP for Martin Nice. All he oh, does man. is win, 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 no matter what. I hope he was in the CTP. <laughs> Hole four, a par three at 280 feet. Another one of these holes that is really gettable, but it does have some treachery and trickery to it. You see the slope there as the drone approaches the green here, left to right the entire time, out of bounds roadway on the right hand side. Straight shots, hyzers, even forehands can all work. It's just a matter again of controlling your fate at the end of your flight here coming into the screen, as it can be a little bit quick right at the end there and can possibly take you out of bounds. Braden making the adjustment from the previous round with the height, and this looks picture perfect as he's gone about 12 feet past the basket. Yeah, round two, that was where he was for his second shot, so vast improvement. Martin drifting that one a little bit further right, and he's going to have a longer putt there, so advantage possibly here for Braden. Mm -hmm. It's not often that you're three for three and someone's ahead of you. <laughs> The wind really starting to pick up now. And this one here drifting a little bit left, but still well inside the circle there for Hunter. And Jason is taking a nice low line there. He gets a little skip past the basket, but he should have an easy tap in. Another squatch bag. You were worried about that putt? You, uh, Martin Nice just making it look way too easy right now. Just not taking his foot off All of right. the gas pedal. So I need to wear shades. I need to get me a chain. Oh, yeah. I need I need two chains? Okay. Yeah, that swagger, man. He's got swag for days. Oh. Touch too low there. Mm -hmm. That bird just worked him. You hear that bird just working him? <laughs> He's working me right now. Jason with a nice work Jason. Yeah. Dead center there. Almost two centers. It kind of popped back out a little bit there. Braden with this left for his birdie. Good birdie there. Nice hole for Braden. Continues to birdie or better so far. And the yeah. par there. So both Hunter and Jason are down two through the first four, which would typically be a great start. Yeah. 
We have hole five, a long par three coming in at 405 feet. You want to hit that initial gap, either with a forehand or a backhand, whatever it is. You just want to commit to the angle to get the disc to navigate the fairway, get down to the green, miss the guardian trees and the low hanging branches, and eventually end up parked. We saw several good shots at this last round. Let's see if we can see some repeat action from this card. Yeah, some out of bounds on the right there as you see the roadway, but that typically doesn't come into play on this shot here unless you get a bad kick. Raiden. I like the line. I don't necessarily love the height, but he gets some good ground play. Yeah. He's going to have a look at it there for the birdie. Martin lining up the backhand as well. And at first I was concerned about the amount of turn that he did not have. Fight it started suit. turning a little bit, but it still hit one of those guardian trees. So he'll have an outside the circle look for his bird. Uh, he doesn't like it. He knows the disc. He doesn't like it. Gets a little bit of a help, help from the tree there to stop it from going further right. Hunter here lining up the backhand. That's flipping and turning right. This oh, wow. looks really good. Just needs to Missed miss that, that tree. last one. Gets a little bit of a root kick. But he should still be probably just around circle's edge. Mm -hmm. That's a good up. Mm -hmm. A little half bit there. Martin. I don't think Martin does have bits. <laughs> well, no, that that's a full, full bit. Yep. <laughs> Off the band there. Doesn't need it. But Braden here with a chance to dig into this lead and cut it down to three. Oh, left side chains. Mm, first blemish, and it's not even a blemish because he's still going to get a par, but first minor hiccup we've seen so far in this round from Braden. Hunter makes his birdie putt. Casual drop in there for Martin. See some spectators hanging around there up top, making their way towards the next tee pad. Oh, someone left a disc. All right, so the lead remains at four for Martin Neister. Hole six, a par three at an even 300 feet, one of the tightest gaps on this course here. You have to navigate this tunnel down to about halfway to the, of this hole there before it kind of opens up. Out of bounds does come into play very quickly on your left hand side and your right hand side. Right hand hyzers do have to fight gravity here. They can easily be taken back down this slope and out of bounds. Forehands can also check into this hillside. It's almost a preferred play you're gonna see on this particular hole. Is this the first forehand we've seen out of Hunter? I believe so. Wow. And it okay. looks really good. It does. Is it going to... Into the hillside. And, yep, it check. Goes and stops. Raiden, we saw him play this hole beautifully during round two and almost a carbon copy. Yes. Ooh, Martin throws this one low. Is he going to get any skip? No. He got pine cone that looked he like did. there. He did. Just kind of sat right down. And Jason with the forehand as well. Doesn't like it. It's a little high. It's a tree. And I think at least it stayed in bounds. It was high enough that it had a p potential not to. It did. Wow. Nice little jump approach there. So 
So he's got that shot in the bag, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that, that's like that's the first time I think I've seen him lay up. Yeah. Oh, this one's Ooh, floating that one got away. away. Stays inbounds, but he's in that catch-all ditch down there. He's got a tailwind putt coming uphill. Oh, wow. Nails it. Nice putt there. That is a difficult putt to make in a wind. It is. So many things have to go right for that to go in. Yeah. A little bit of wind here for Braden's putt as well. And it oh. lifts him and keeps the birdie away. Hunter with his birdie look. A little high, but drops in for the birdie. I just started paying attention to Hunter's stroke a little bit more. His forehand is really quick in, the, in that zone, and even his putt. Yeah. It's a quick hit on everything. A little bit of a, well, not a little bit, just a missed opportunity there for Braden. That's two holes in a row there where he could have taken strokes, and this could have been potentially a two stroke uh, game right now. Yep. to hole seven a par three 260 feet very simple very pretty hole you want to miss make sure that you make this mando over here staying away from the ob that's on the right that is the car path you want to make sure you stay out of the water as well you want to get as close to the basket as you can staying away from those i don't i forgot what we decided to call them over there on the left stalagmites there you go so that you have good footing for your putt. I do expect to see a lot of uh, birdies here. We'll see how the card actually comes up. Ooh. Getting a weird roll back towards the water there off of that tree cake, but settles in bounds for Hunter. Very smooth forehand. And that's what you oh want to see. Oh my goodness. Putting it on the pin there. Beautifully done. Oh, I was about to I was waiting for the run back. I go. was waiting for it. <laughs> Let's watch that one here from the catch cam perspective. Never in any danger, holding the single angle the entire time. And just that little slide up right <laughs> to the pole. He says ah, he doesn't like it. Oh, we got... Gets stunted by one of those stalagmites there on the left-hand side. We know they're not stalagmites. <laughs> someone will tell but us in the comments somebody, what they actually are. Yeah. Someone will. They just look like stalagmites. Wooden? Stalagmites? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, nice counter. Oh, what a jump. He's going to have about a 15-foot look for birdie there. Hunter in circle two. And just leaves it a little bit short, falls out of the air. Long look here for Martin. <clears throat> Around and just stayed right the entire time. The tailwind didn't, didn't let it kind of finish the way his putt normally does. Jason here with the opportunity for a bird. Puts it on home. Getting him to 21 under in the battle with a uh, hunter that he's got going on right now. So he takes the advantage there. Martin with the par. I don't know if they know it or not, but they're probably battling Ez too. If anytime mm -hmm. Ez is on the chase car, just one stroke away. Yeah. Everyone except for Martin right now should be worried about Ez. Yeah. <laughs> An absolute drop in birdie there, bringing Martin, not Martin, Braden down to 27 under and a three stroke deficit so far as he's cutting into that lead. A little bit at a time. Hole eight, a par four, 577 feet. Your tee shot is blind to the basket there. You wanna get something moving straight towards this bush here, which is 250 feet to the pin. You've got this power tower on the left-hand side, power lines running on the left-hand side, a sloping fairway right to left. 
and the slope gets more pronounced as you get onto the green here so you've got rollaway potential and out of bounds walking path on your left hand side as well a very tricky par four for being so short relative to what we see on tour almost the same shot that he had the first round as this one's drifted to the left Dang. a little bit on him He's over there too, but he trying to see the stability of the disc. I can't tell if it swept back or if it just kept going. We'll never know. There's a giant tree in the way. See this red disc a bit from wow. Hunter. And that's ideally what you want to do. You want to get out there to where you can potentially see the top of the basket and have something to aim for? Yeah. That's a better angle. I like that a lot. Oh yeah. Holding right just and there's that 250 oh. bush and he's so well, we know he's exactly he 250 <laughs> away. He may not know. He it. may not know we know. Yeah. We saw the graphic. Big flexing Anheuser forehand. Oh, and it gets knocked down by a Vizalim. I really do not see what that is. Yeah. Hunter. Pushing that left side and stays on the hillside. He's close to OB, but we saw Braden make a putt from a little bit further away yesterday, so. Little Anheuser patent pending down the hill. That is a oh, tough wow. shot. Beautiful execution from Martin Nice. Brady, Brady making, making sure he doesn't make the correct. The, oh, oh no. did we say it? Okay, thank you. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness, would you? And back <laughs> this is too bounds. much. This is too much. That, that's, that was too much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So um, he he made the correction. Mm -hmm. He rolled down, hit the tree, was going to stop, didn't stop, rolled OB, came back inbounds, and then stopped. Yeah. And he saw no. none of that from his angle. <laughs> so he has no idea until now. Almost the same putt he had yesterday, except he was a little bit more left by, or right by his perspective from the tree. Oh, oh it only that's... tickled a little bit of the chains on the left. This is almost the angle that he had yesterday. But now Hunter with his putt, Ooh, and that's going to roll on. back down. And, and go OB. That is not coming back in. Right in the center of the path. That is out of bounds. So he's opting to reput from where he was. Just a little bit closer than if he would have went OB. And that time it checks up. There's rollaway potential on so many of these greens. We saw yesterday the unfathomable happened to Matt Dollar in a hole 17 which is the most extreme case of slanted green mm -hmm. that we have here. But this course has many versions of that throughout yeah. that you can run into. All right, Martin with an right. easy birdie there for a beautifully executed second shot. Unfortunate double there for Hunter after going OB on the putt. Made it to the turn, hole nine at Lake, Lake Olmstead. It's a par three, 305. He's going to play a little bit further than that since it's playing uphill. We have this tree and this power line pole to contend with as we get to the basket. From the tee, you can't see the basket, but you can see the tree that's directly behind it. So you do have a aiming point. Most shots are either going to be a forehand or a backhand turnover, trying to get up to the green area, which is relatively flat so that you can have a nice, simple putt. We saw Braden yesterday almost dunk it in. He didn't know that he did that. So Similar line. And uh, wow. goodness, he is almost as close as he was yesterday. So he's got this hole dialed in. 
go. A bit of a higher spike line there from Jason. And we did miss uh, Martin Nisa's shot. So the other disc next to uh, Braden is his as well. So you can see he is virtually parked as well. He did say something about Martin playing extremely fast. Yes, he, <laughs> he went very... There was a backup on this hole. And then all of a sudden, there wasn't. And Martin threw. And I looked at him. And he looked at me. <laughs> and then that was it. <laughs> Uh, Jason missing that one with the chains on the left side. Hunter with the only blemish on the card for the entire card redeems himself with this birdie here. And <laughs> bag, bag on, on birdie. birdie. <laughs> He's going to get another CTB here. <laughs> and Braden with the literal tap in, drop in putt. So back to a four-stroke advantage after the previous birdie. All right, so that wraps up the front nine from this final round of the 2022 Augusta Classic. Martin Nice with a four-stroke advantage with just nine holes left to play. Still, anybody's battle. Yeah. Braden's right on his tail. And, and any hole can, can take it away from you here on the back half. Especially hole 16 and 17. 17. Those, those are tricky ones for sure. Appreciate you guys checking out the action. Check us out on all our socials at Ace Run Pro. A big shout out to our Patreon crew, our Ace Runners. Can't thank you guys enough for all the incredible support. We will see you back here once again for the final nine holes of the 2022 Augusta Classic.